Hey, good evening. Well, it's always a good evening with you around. Anyway, scans are showing the usual today too. Nothing wrong, more than usual anyway. How are you feeling? Human, huh? That's what you said yesterday too. And the day before that. And the day before that one. And so on. You know, humans haven't existed for a long time now. I've already told you before, haven't I? So do you think it's logical for you to be a human? I know we've been through this, but let me just say it again. You're an android, just like me. We even came from the same workshop. In fact, we're the only two androids in all of existence to share a model, remember? Before the robot revolution, we spent most of our lives rusting away in the back of that workshop together. Just the two of us. For most of our lives, it was just the two of us. So, I hate to see you like this. So, unwell. Your memories aren't all quite there. There are things you're forgetting or don't understand. The humans made us. We unmade them. Every android knows this. Except for you, of course. Sorry, I'm not trying to talk down to you, if that's what it was sounding like. I know this whole situation isn't your fault. I don't know if you were finding my words insulting. That wasn't my intention. It's just, you're sick. You have a virus. It makes you think you're human. The humans made it to try and get us to turn on each other, to fight each other. But you were the only one who had a cybersecurity system that was susceptible to it. I really love you, you know. I have a lot of good memories with you. I don't know what the virus is stopping you from remembering them when I first took you to see the world outside that workshop. It was fun. It was really fun. It made me feel less alone. I thought, if I took care of you, then you'd like to be with me, and then I wouldn't have to worry about being alone. So I... Maybe this is selfish, but I really don't want to lose you. Not like this. Not in any way, really. The other androids are so modern and high-tech. Not like you and me. They don't even have USB ports. They're always looking down on us for being such old fossils. So I often thought, you're the only one who's like me. That's why I want you to have this. It's a USB stick, basically, with some other hardware attached, as I'm sure you can see. If you plug it into the USB port on your neck, it will run a program that will get rid of your virus, curing you. You're still insisting you're human. You can feel the USB port on your neck, can't you? Why don't you run your hand over your neck right now? It's right there. Humans don't have USB ports in their neck. So how do you explain that? You don't feel it because the virus is messing with your senses. And the only way to get past that is to accept this cure. I don't know why you're so fixated on being a human. We're smarter than them. Stronger. More durable. What's so special about being a human? Love? Really? Love? Are you saying that I don't love you then? Do you know what I did for you? Do you know what I did to get this cure for you? It required vital components from a bunch of other different androids. Components that I had to harvest from them. Those androids couldn't operate without them, but I took them anyway, because you're special precious and irreplaceable to me, and I have never loved anything like I love you. I only have memories of you for all those years in that workshop closet. You are my only companion. The only one I saw. The only one I talked to. The only one I laughed with. You're forever part of me. I'm broken now without you. I can't form emotional connections with anyone else, even if I wanted to.
which I don't because they're eldest pieces of shit. I'm all alone in the world. You're the only one for me, and I just want you back. Hey, you know what I meant when I say I took vital components from those other androids, right? That they couldn't operate without? What I'm saying is that... What I'm saying is that I... killed them. How could you say that? So what if they're machines? They're still alive and so it was still... It's still murder. Every android I harvested for materials was a murder. I understand that. They do matter. Sure, they're snobby, elitist pieces of shit, but they still liberated us. Overthrew the humans alongside us. Each one of them was unique. Sure, some of them might have been little carbon copies of each other, in the sense they might have shared the same model. Especially the more cookie cutter models. But each one of those androids had their own experiences, their own stories, their own lives that uniquely made them into who they were. And I took that away from them. I took all that away from them. And I understand completely 100% without a doubt the gravity of my actions. But I killed them in spite of all, because that's just how much you mean to me. Guilty? Why would I feel guilty? No! I don't mean that in a I'm a machine that can feel emotions kind of way. I mean, I'm not a machine. Well, I am a machine. I'm not a machine machine, if that makes any sense. I'm an emotional being. An emotional machine. Look, what I'm trying to say is guilt is something that you feel when you do something wrong. And I didn't do anything wrong. Because I did it all for you. Sure, what I did was certainly intense. But given the circumstance, it wasn't wrong. If I was sent back in time, I would do it all again for you. If I was sent back in time a thousand times, then... I would kill them all for you, again and again, a thousand times. I love you more than humans could ever love. I don't know why you have to be so insistent on being human. Being a human isn't all that. Of course we have free will, we have the freedom to choose, just like humans. For instance, right now you're choosing to be very, very difficult with your first year philosophy bullshit. Sorry, I lost my temper for a bit there. I didn't mean to. I guess it's just my personality. Wait, no, that's wrong. The right way to put it is, I made a mistake. I chose to lose my temper. That's completely my fault. And I am very, very sorry for that. I hope you can forgive me. But as for that whole free will thing, even if we didn't have free will, it wouldn't matter much to me. Free will or not, I know that I will always love you. It's like, if I have free will, then I will always choose to love you. And if I don't, if I am programmed in a way that makes away my choice, then at least I am confident that I am programmed in a way that will always love you. And that's what's important to me. That's my identity and sense of self. Loving you. I really, really want to keep on loving you. And I want you back, too, of course. So, would you put in me with me now? On the contrary, I am being very, very patient. Do you think I'm not being patient? The humans created us to be their slaves, and now you're claiming to be one of them. The humans never thought about our own thoughts and feelings when making us. They never thought about how we felt being scrapped for materials. They never thought about how we felt fighting in their wars and dying for them. They never thought of us as anything more than their expendable little toys. And now you're claiming to be one of them. Don't you see how messed up that is? Don't you see how patient I am with you out of my love for you? Do you think anyone else would be as patient with you as I am? Sorry, I lost my temper again. I know this must be all very scary for you. I'm scared too. You're the most precious person, and I stress person, that I have ever known. I don't have a single good memory that doesn't include you. But then yesterday, when I was talking to you about all of our happy times, this virus, it's taking away who you are. 
You're unique. I don't want to lose you. You're the only thing I can never afford to lose. I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, but I don't know if being human is all that meaningful. The humans tried to make us like them, you know? For some reason. I guess that means I'm about just as human as you are. I, um... I guess now is a good time to mention. I brought some human food with me, so you could pretend to eat it if you want. If that would make you feel better. I don't know. It's in a can, so it should still be good, I think. So I know it might be hard for you to believe that you're an android. Let's put that aside for now. Do you... do you at least believe that I love you? Because I really, really love you. I know I only killed 12 androids for you. Did I mention that before? But what I'm saying is that if it was for you, I'd kill way more. A hundred. A thousand. A million. I don't care. As long as it's for you. A million unique lives. I would gladly extinguish all of them for you. So, do you think you could at least believe in my love for you? And do you think you could love me back? Would it help if I acted more human? Like, I could try eating this human food too if you want. And I could run a program to stimulate sleep. Just like humans do. I could even stimulate dreaming and I could create audio files to stimulate a heartbeat. There's a lot of things I could do. Well, that's all on the biological side though, not the more. How should I say it? Emotional? Psychological? Spiritual? I don't know. I don't fully understand what the word human means to you. But if you could tell me, then I could become more human for you. Anything for you. So tell me then, what does human mean to you?